Now, yesterday I challenged you to love your neighbor. In fact, to do something for your neighbor. If you didn't do it last night, here, let me guilt you for a second. Do it tonight. In fact, if you don't do it, you're going to go straight to hell. I just made that up. I'm totally kidding. But many times we get stuck in the guilt of doing things. And when James is writing this, many times people will read James and feel guilty over what they read because they know that they're not living their faith. I have to stop you for a second. We do not live by guilt. Some of us are very good at giving guilt trips. Some of us are very good at following guilt trips. Some of us struggle when it comes to the whole guilt area, and that is why we don't attend a church that teaches God's grace. But we need to hear about God's grace, and James wants to share this with you. This is James chapter 2 in verse 10. It says, For whoever keeps the whole law and yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of it. See, it's so easy to break a law. It's so easy to break a rule. And in that case, once that happens, we've screwed it up everywhere. God is not expecting us to be perfect. He's expecting us to try and to strive to be as good as we can. But at the end of the day, he wants us to do the right thing because of his grace. Grace, God's riches at Christ's expense, is dying on the cross for each one of us. Us loving others and caring for others just as he did and does for us. Would you ask yourself today, where is it that I can be more like Christ? And where is it that I can extend more grace to others and live my faith so that others can see that? You can see it, I can see it, and most of all, that God can see it.